Tampa of Wonders, a story by Maria Olivia Laurent. Arya almost drops the Tampa trying to get it past the door. It's the culinary day competition. All students must bring their national dishes and present them. Arya realizes not many of his friends know about his culture, so he is determined to impress them by winning. Bell peeks behind him. Why are those so strange? These are Indonesian snacks. Isn't it colorful? If you say so. Hey, have you tried Chen's dish? It's delicious and amazing. Nope, I bet mine is more delicious. Chen is so stingy. He probably just brings soup. Arya walks to his desk carefully, but almost drops the tampa again after seeing Chen with his dish. Chen has brought a meat pie in the shape of a flaming dragon. His snacks look pale in comparison. But no worries, he can still win. Someone sits next to Arya. Immediately, Arya smells the delicious aroma of butter. What is that? Whoa! Arya turns around to a humongous basket. It's Amy and her French pastries. Look at that crispy layer of the croissant. And the cream oozing from the eclairs. Or the perfect twirl of that lemon meringue. Arya stops himself from drooling. Amy's pastries look awesome. But surely his snacks are tastier, right? Yet as soon as he says that, his Italian classmate Matteo enters holding up a super tall lasagna. Layers of lasagna create a wonderful blend of bright colors. The tomato sauce and the basil leaves fill the whole class with a whiff of the Italian countryside. Oh no, his downfall is nearing. Harya doesn't expect that his classmates will bring such amazing dishes. How are his snacks supposed to win now? He doesn't have any expensive ingredients or fancy decorations. Matteo snickers beside him. What is that? Your mom's trial and error foods? Arya wants to smack his smile away with his tampa. But it's too precious for smacking Matteo. He needs it for the presentation. His mom didn't just waste her effort into making those snacks for nothing. Besides, Arya still has a few tricks up his sleeve. His turn comes. In the corner of his eyes, Arya can see the other kids' bored expressions. But he isn't going to give up now. He begins his story. Arya picks up the first snack. This slimy snack is called Dodo. A long time ago, only kings and nobles were allowed to eat this because it takes so much effort just to make one. Because of that, Dodo is a symbol of togetherness and Indonesian's readiness to help people in need. Next is Kueto. Arya says. This snack is a mix of Indonesian and Chinese cultures. Look, doesn't it resemble a turtle shell? That's because Chinese villagers use turtles as an offering for their successful harvest. But when the turtles began to become extinct, they replaced it with a turtle-shaped cake like this. Turtle symbolizes long life and good health. Maybe that's because they're so slow. They have a long life. Now, this is the Kembang Waru. This snack used to be sacred because of its hidden meaning. There are eight ages, and each of them symbolizes the eight paths of a spiritual journey. Sun, moon, stars, mega or cloud, tita or water, kisma or soil, ocean, and Maruto or air. The Jenang Grandul follows. Do you see the little slimy balls? To make them, we must mix the ingredients in a particular steering direction. It symbolizes the will of life. Sometimes we are happy, and sometimes we are sad. But that's okay, because it means we keep on moving. Arya holds up the last snack. This is Lumper. Do you know that in the Rebo Pungkasan festival, people make a huge Lumper as a celebration? You see, 
This symbolizes that if humans want to go to heaven, they have to remove their sins, which are the leaves. Then they can reach the meat inside. There is the core of life. His presentation ends, and the class explodes with applause. When some classmates ask him shyly to taste the snacks, blooming pride begins to replace the doubtfulness in Arya's heart. In the end, Amy's pastries win the competition. But that's okay. Arya realizes that winning isn't important when he had already impressed his classmates with his storytelling. It doesn't matter that Indonesian snacks are weird compared to others. It's the stories behind them that make them special. Even if the snacks are plain and boring, they have a uniqueness about them that not many can appreciate. With the right perspective and a dash of fantasy, Arya understands that there are wonders in ordinariness. Indonesia's culture are certainly full of creativity, and so is Arya. Spellbound is brought to you with love by Petra Little Theatre, English for Creative Industry Program, Petra Christian University.